Adam Lerner, and welcome to the Friday Flickr Photo Critique. This week we have a set from Paul K.L., and this is a photo set that he says was shot around the world, mostly with a Canon 60D. Uh, this first shot is a shot of the uh, iconic Eiffel Tower called Why Paris is Paris, and uh, super, super washed out. Um, obviously, the sun is uh, backlit over here. You know, this is one of those things, like you could have spot metered perhaps and maybe uh, done this a little differently. It's just a little too washed out for my taste. I, I think it's cool, but you've got so much negative space here and just the washed out tower, you know, it's a little bit off kilter, a little bit there. I don't know. I think that, that there could have been another way to do this. We've got all this dead space over here too. Um, I, I like what you were going for. I think we didn't quite get it with this one. All right, women in Jodhpur. Uh, this is great. Um, this is kind of one of those classic iconic shots where, you know, you've got these, uh, you know, beautiful uh, traditional clothing and jewelry. Um, you know, you've just got a really nice scene. You know, you've got a child and the parent and, you know, uh, it's just, it just, there's a really interesting thing going on over here. And the fact that it was taken overhead, it, the, the people form a textural landscape. So very, very nice. Um, okay, another one. I'm guessing this was shot perhaps in India as well. Very, very crisp, black and white, really nice. Um, I like that, you know, we've got people that are praying in this mosque. You've got the tourists walking in. You've got this kind of continuing archways over here. Um, you know, it, 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 it's just a nice capture. I'm not crazy about what's going on on this part of the frame over here. Um, I would have liked to maybe seen it without that kind of distraction. But overall, a very nice, crisp black and white. And I think what really draws you in is this dude over here, you know, with his arms behind his head. Okay, so this one, I'm not sure where this was taken. Um, another uh, square, maybe somewhere um, in Europe is my guess. Let's see if we can figure this out. Um, blah, blah, blah. No, this was taken with a Panasonic. Um, yeah, we don't have any info in that one. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter. Um, very nice lines and shapes and textures. Um, you know, it, it's, it's a nice shot. I don't know if it was taken from, from, uh, you know, a, a Vista point or from a hotel room, but you know, it's a nice crisp black and white and interesting place. Uh, okay, you know, we've got a, a just a nice landscape over here and we've got some beautiful hues. Uh, the uh, I guess the skyline is silhouetted, which makes for a nice look. Um, obviously some high ISO because we've got lots of graininess going on in the sky over here. Um, you know, it's 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 nice, but you know, it's not uh, I'm missing something here. You know, it, it just it's it just it's just nice. So we'll leave it at that. Okay, so this is very cool. Um, I don't know where this could be. Um, I wish I wish there was more information here, but you know, obviously somewhere way far away. Um, and it's really cool. I mean, I love that you know you've got the light and the dark. You know, the clouds. What they've done with these mountains over here. You've got kind of dark light, dark. You know, that really offers some nice separation with this zigzaggy thing over here. Just a really, really, really nice landscape. This is very cool. Um, the perspective on this one is just fantastic. Um, I love how, you know, there's symmetry here. I love the colors. Um, you know, it's a very majestic shot and it looks like a pretty interesting point of view. It, I, it looks like one of those things that probably very few people really have access to photograph and I think you did a great job here. Um, okay, this is interesting. I don't quite know if this is people in kind of a, a, a prayer kind of situation, or if this is kind of cloth. Um, I would, I, I need a little more context here. I mean, I, I can tell that there's something exotic about it, but I can't quite tell enough about it. And it's, there's not really any one focal point on here. So it would be nice to have some kind of context or a person or an object that really kind of informs me a little bit more about. And, and just this kind of like this, this blurry uh, bench or whatever it is over here, it's a little distracting cutting into the frame for me. All right, so we've got an open market with an older woman and uh, people obviously selling cabbages and things in the back. And her expression is priceless. Really nice, uh, crisp black and white over here. 
Um, I'm guessing that this might have been a vendor or another person shopping. I think I would have cropped that out or either tried to have gotten the interaction between these two guys uh, a little bit more. It looks like this is kind of a panoramic crop, so I'm wondering if there's more information, maybe her hand or her hand on some vegetables or something like that. Okay, a nice shot of the beach. Um, you know, this was taken probably either early morning or late in the day because we've got the, the water passing through the light. I'm sorry, the light passing through the water. So as this person is running in, you know, great motion. This is really just one of those kind of classic shots. Uh, very editorial, um, really nicely done. Another really crisp black and white. I, I don't mind at all that, that this is obviously a silhouetted individual because you're getting the action, you're getting the spray, you know, it puts you right there. Really nice stuff. So that is the end of Paul's set. Um, I just wanted to thank Paul for sending in your set. I think that you've definitely got a nice cohesive point of view. I think your black and whites are really crisp and solid. And I think that you obviously have traveled to some very interesting places and have shared those photographs with us. Um, I, you know, obviously, you know, my opinions, I don't mean for them to ever be harsh. Um, it's just how I see it and how I would see, you know, perhaps ways to improve. Um, but overall, I really enjoyed your set. And if any of you guys want to send me a set, pick your 10 best photos. Again, you know, think of a co cohesive or comprehensive, you know, type of set, how they tie in together with either subject matter or material or processing or the whole lot and email them to adamlearnerphoto at gmail.com. That's it for now, and we'll see you soon.